So the three programs you need for this tutorial are gonna be Serato, which I'm guessing that you have because you've clicked on this video, Recordbox and Recordbuddy. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description down below so you can go follow them. With Recordbuddy, I'm just gonna show you how to download it because it's a little bit difficult to find. So if you type into Google Recordbuddy, click the first link, and then head over to the FAQ section. And you can see here that it's got Mac build here or Windows build here. I'm using a Mac version, so I'm gonna download the Mac version. But if you're using Windows, just download the Windows version. So if you need to download all these programs, make sure you pause the video here, and then we're gonna carry on into the next step. So as you can see on the screen right now, I've got my Serato screen open. And in the crate section, I've got three crates that I wanna transfer over today. Hip hop, record box crate, R&B, and dance hall. As you can see in these crates, I've got cue points, for all of these songs and I wanna be able to take them over to Recordbox and use these same cue points. So in order to do that, we need to open up Recordbuddy. So before you open up Recordbuddy, make sure that Recordbox and Serato are all closed because it does come up with a message saying there's gonna be some sort of data corruption if they're all open. So make sure you shut Serato, shut Recordbox and then open Recordbuddy. When you open up Recordbuddy, you're gonna see this massive error message saying this is a beta software. This is not an early preview of Record Buddy, blah, 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 blah. So it does say that you must back up all your music. So before you start this video, make sure you back up your music to your hard drives, to your cloud, anything like that. So once you've done that, you can click OK, I understand, and have backups. So now you're going to have the Record Buddy window open. And as you can see, you've got iTunes, Serato, and Record Box. If we was to open up our Serato, you can see under playlists, we've got our free crates that we showed previously in, in the Serato window. And as you can see, it's got all the tracks that was inside Serato as well. So, so in order to transfer these crates over to Recordbox, all you need to do is open up Recordbox here. And then as you can see here, it's got a playlist folder and there's nothing inside it. So all you need to do is drag your playlist over to Recordbox like this. So we're gonna drag all three over. And then now in Recordbox, you can see the three crates there. But there's one thing that you need to know about Record Buddy. Nothing is set in stone and nothing's gonna be applied until you press save. In order to save this, you just have to click the exit button. Then it comes up with a save window. If you press don't save, none of your changes will be applied, so you don't have to worry. But if you're happy with these changes, just click save, and then that's all done for you. So what you need to do now is go over to Record Box. So once you open up Record Box, you're gonna see it's completely empty. This is if you've downloaded a brand new installation of Record Box. Obviously, if you've had Record Box for ages, you're gonna have songs in there. So as you can see, in the collection, there's no songs in there. In the playlist, there's no songs in there. The way Record Buddy works is once you drag it over to Record Box, it imports it into this bit here it's called Record Box XML. So if you open this up, you can see under playlist that you've got your hip hop record box crate, R&B record box crate and dancehall crate. So these are the crates that we've transferred over from Serato over to record box, but they're not in record box yet. So all you need to do is drag each of these crates into your playlist section in record box. So, so I'm going to do this. So as you can see, it's important now. I'm going to drag over R&B. Then I'm going to drag over Dancehall. So now when you go over to the playlist section, you can see all the tracks are now into record box. And you can also see that they've got the cue points exactly the same as Serato. Obviously as a Serato user, you're so used to your cue points and you want to take them over to record box. So this is why record buddy is so good because it brings over the, the cue points for you. So all you need to do now to get these onto USB is head over to your devices section down here and obviously make sure that you've got it plugged into your computer like I do then all you need to do is drag over your playlist into the USB. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna pull over the R&B crate, and I'm gonna pull over the dancehall crate. Then as you can see at the bottom, you can see that it's exporting to the USB. So we're gonna wait for this to finish, then all of our crates are now gonna be on our USB. So now that's all done, when you go over to the playlist section on your USB, you can see all your tracks with your cue points on. You can pull them into the player here, and you can see that it's got the cue points here. So now when you plug in your USB into the CDJs, you're gonna have a bunch of crates from your Serato with the exact same cue points as if you were using the laptop. 